welcome back Rodney Street for another at home steam lesson. Today we're going to be making a woven spider web. You're going to need three sticks, some yarn, black paint, a paintbrush, something to cover your table with for painting, and a cup of water. Go ahead and get those things. And once you find your sticks, you're going to want to take off any kind of extra twig pieces like this so that you have a nice clean stick. Once you're at that point, we'll start painting the sticks. set them aside to dry. Wash your hands and clean your area. While you wait, I want you to click in the link below and complete the pre-test. You might not know any of the answers, but that's okay. I just want to see what you know before watching the video about how spiders make their webs. Then you can come back here, push play, and watch the video about how spiders make their webs. Now that your sticks are dry, go ahead and take them and cross them just like this. Like in the video when we watch the spider create a strong bridge. You're going to take your yarn, which can be any color, but I picked a dark yarn to match my sticks, and you're going to start to wrap it tightly going across two sticks. Then you're going to want to do it the opposite way, wrapping tightly. Then through every single different stick so it's all tight together. And lastly right here. Go ahead and push your sticks so that they are all kind of an equal length. Some of them can stick out further. And we're going to take the yarn, place it onto one stick, and loop around. Come to the next stick, loop around. Just like this. We're doing what the spider did when he was making anchor points. After you complete a row, go ahead and go a little bit above where you did it last time. Wrap around the stick, wrap around, wrap around. Trying to stay behind the stick and then wrap in front. Stay behind, wrap in front, just like that. So I've completed a row, so instead of coming right back to where I was last time, I'm gonna go a step ahead, maybe about an inch. And you can knit, the, knit these however tightly you would like, like creating their spaces really tiny or super far apart, whatever you want to make it look more natural. knobs on the sticks to try to help keep the yarn in place. It looks like I'm about to get to the end so when you do get to where one stick doesn't have space on it anymore you're going to want to get scissors and to cut it 
tie it around that last stick. So I'll probably end right here. Do you see how there's that not that much room? And I'm gonna tie it around this last. talk about some of the main points. A spider starts with a strong bridge just like we did and creates anchor points just like we did. The spider starts in the middle and works his way out and the structure of the web is not sticky. These are some of the questions that you might have been asked. Go ahead in the link and click post test and complete the test based upon what you've learned today. If you liked today's lesson, go ahead and share it to me at indiana at rstta.org. Or you can post a picture of it on Instagram or Facebook with hashtag RodneyStreetScene.